Hello everyone and welcome back to another Cell to Singularity Beyond video. So today, um, continuing on from last episode, we have completed all of the goals in between um, episodes here. So the only things left were these two. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and open these and hop uh, straight into the next stage actually. So let's go ahead and do that actually. So looking good. So we've just got two more Dwarf Stars. They were the last two missions. Um, yeah, the, the other stuff, which I think it was just upgrade a few things. Um, we had to do and then we also had to collect the golden asteroids. I know that was one of the missions we had to do So that's all now done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, upgrade the universe So job done. So yes, it's quite useful hopping on every week doing a new video every week So it means it gets a whole week for the game to uh, complete stuff for us. So that's cool. So we've done planet 9 planet X whatever you want to call it. So Done that so now, what have we got next? I mean, my guess is it, it, it's got to be the Orc Cloud, because that's the only other thing sort of left, isn't it? So, right. Oh, yeah, it's definitely the Orc Cloud. You can tell straight away from here. With all the inner and outer regions of the solar system described, there remains the uh, encompassing cloud of planet... Yeah, so it's basically the, um, the Orc Cloud. So, that's cool. Okay, we'll just skip all this. So, yeah. So, if you're reading that, yeah. All right, um... You continue indefinitely. Yeah, so we're literally doing the Orc Cloud now, so let's see what we got. Okay. This is going to be pretty cool. So I wonder, what, once we do the Orc Cloud, what's going to be after that? I, I honestly do not know. So let's go ahead and uh, just click this. So this should be a yellow star, is my guess. Okay, yep, yeah, cool. So that gives us more stuff. Nice. Okay. So now what have we got? So between us and deep space lies a field of icy borders. Yeah, Oort Cloud. Uh, like an immense shell. The trillions of objects it contains confirm my computer abilities. But I'll do my best to grasp and model the dynamics of this confounding region. Yes, let's go. Objective 15, observe the Oort Cloud. Yeah, no surprises there. Right. So we're on level 15 now. I mean, there can't be much left, surely. Okay, so let's just do the normal. Obviously, we need to ignite the sun. And that will give us all of the stuff. So let's just see. Ah, there it is. Whatever that is. Or is that the Orc Cloud? Because look. Rank up Hills Cloud. So what's Hills Cloud? Honestly, I don't know. I've not heard of that before. And then that must be the Orc Cloud itself. So that's Hills Cloud, whatever that is. Yeah, if anyone knows in the comments, let me know. But I'm sure the game will tell me what it is, actually. So, yeah, we'll wait and see. So, I've not heard of Hills Cloud. Maybe it's like a certain segment of the Orc Cloud. I've no idea, actually. So, we'll do all the normal stuff. Moon Moon's got a boost already. Let's go. Why not? Get that up to a high level as well. Level everything up. I mean, you guys know the drill. So, just spam click literally everything here. So, that's good. So, click, 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 click. Uh, moon's got another level up. Perfect. Sun level 8. Jupiter. And Io, Europa, Ganymede, Callisto. So, let's get all of those guys up. So, as high as we can go there. Ganymede, Callisto, done. Saturn. Titan, Enceladus. So we'll get all those guys leveled up. Then we've got Uranus, Neptune, Triton as the last of the celestial bodies. And then we'll go on to the new one, or the Kuiper objects, Trans Neptunians. There's a gold thing, let's grab that. So let's get Pluto up to level 6. Shoemaker, level 5. Halley's Comet, level 5. Hailbot, level 4. Kuiper Belt, Hamea, Make Make there. Okay, so we'll let those just uh, unlock again. So we'll just get everything else in here up to good level as well. So we've got Saturn, Titan, back to the Jupiter moons. So let's just get all of those guys up. We've just done something. We'll go ahead and open that. I wasn't even paying attention to what the mission was, so there we go. Ooh, was that a new card? What was that? It was some sort of asteroid looking. Oh, it was the Kuiper Cliff. Never mind. Okay. I thought it was something new. Okay, that's cool. Maka Maka, we'll get you unlocked while we're here. Okay, so we should be able to get most of the guys at the bottom to level 10 almost now. I mean, especially the sun. Okay, not just yet, but we're almost there. Okay, so we've got all the celestial stuff. Right, and then we'll just uh, get the rest of these. So, okay, so they'll continually just keep unlocking stuff uh, while we're working. Okay, so let's also do this. Another start. Let's grab all the bits from that. Cool. What was that card there? Heliosphere. Oh, oh, it was Termination Shock. A shockwave caused by the meeting of subsonic... Yeah, we have, we've already seen that one. Oh, oh, we beat the mission as well. So let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, no, we've done it. Max level. Hey, cool. 
Helios, uh, so that's max level now. Nice. Cool. We've also got all of this that's researched over the week uh, as well, so that's cool. What else have we got? So Moon, level 9. Get all those to level 9. Enceladus, Uranus, Neptune. Cool. Heliosphere. Okay, so Sedna's next. So let's keep doing that. Oh, let's get Sedna. Oh, Planet 10 as well. Planet 9. Now, there we are. See, I still never got why it was called Planet X. Because, obviously, Pluto was removed from a planet long ago now. So, there's only eight... Uh, yeah, we only have eight planets. So, why is it still called Planet X? That implies ten. X is ten in Roman numerals. So, it should be Planet... It should be Planet IX, in theory, which is nine. Yeah, it's weird. I always wonder why they named it like that. But, there we are. Cool. Because I think at the time when the theory came out, I think Pluto was still a planet when they thought about Planet X, so that's probably why. But yeah, it's, it's definitely Planet Nine, because you can see it's... Yeah, it even says ninth planet here, so yeah, Planet Nine. <laughs> that's cool. Right. Triton. So let's just get all of you guys up. Oh, oh there's says missions up there, which is cool as well. Okay, cool. Uh, Amaya, and what we'll do is, while we are thinking about it, let's just grab all of these... Uh, get these stars done. Might as well, because they've, they've been waiting all week to be open. So let's go ahead and uh, just start researching another one. There's a gold thing. Let's grab that. Uh, we've got another star unlocked on the missions here. Cool. So let's grab all of that. So Planet X is unlocked. So there's whatever that is. What, what is that? Okay, so we need to get Planet X up one more level. So we'll do that uh, in a sec. So there we are. Okay. And then lastly... Just get that on there, and then now we just need to research the get the last one done. There we are. Okay, cool. And then uh, pull it back in. Right. So back to the main missions. Okay, so we've got some more cubes. Cool. Okay, so rank up Planet X. Can we do that? I hope yes, we can. Okay, right. So what is this? Hills Cloud. What is Hills Cloud? Right. Is it? It must be like a a, a closer part of the Orc Cloud. I, I, honestly, I have no idea what this is. So. Hills Cloud. The Hills Cloud is the inner part of the Oort Cloud. Ah, I thought so. Okay. Uh, white comets with orbits... Uh, uh, yeah, white comets with orbits of less than 200 years come from the Kuiper Belt. Comets with longer orbits ranging from 200 to 2,000 years originate from the Hills Cloud. Ah, okay. So it's like, yeah, it is a segment of the Oort Cloud. That's what I was thinking it must have been. But So where, whereabouts is it? Ah, okay. So it's like a super far out version of the Kuiper Belt, obviously, because you can see... Yeah, so it's yeah, obviously an inner part of the Oort Cloud. Ah! I never heard of this before, but that's cool. I like it. That's even further out than Planet X's, uh, Planet X and Sedna's orbits, so it is pretty far out of there. That's cool. I like it. So, so here's obviously the Kuiper Belt here, so... Kuiper Belt, and then if you zoom all the way out, you got this belt as well, so Hills Cloud. So let's just get it done straight away. Right. Okay, so what we got here? Some more facts. I'll actually, I actually want to learn about this. So what actually is this? So the gravitational field of the Milky Way exerts tidal forces on the Oort Cloud. These distortions cause some Oort Cloud objects to be pulled by the sun's gravity out of the solar system and into the orbit around the planets. This is what happened to Comet shoemaker Levy 9 Ah, good to know. Cool. Let's just scale it up again. Cool. Uh, Sedna, I'll get you up. Haley's Comet. Get another dwarf star unlocked. We need to upgrade that card actually so we can get automation going. So, where are I? So, Hills Clouds. Let's get that. So, that automates it. Cool. So, next up, we have got the York Cloud itself. So, rank up Callisto. Can we do Callisto? You can do Ganymede. Callisto, 13.88 QDC. Yeah, we'll get that in no, no time. Uh, meanwhile, we'll upgrade the cards. So, let's go do that. Nice and easy. Cool. Okay. Two more achievements. Get Venus to level 10. I am your Venus. The Soviet Venera probes were the first robotic probes to reach another planet and send surface images back to Earth. But they didn't last long. Each probe could only survive in Venus's hostile climate between 25 minutes and 2 hours. Yeah, I've seen that picture. That was back in the Cold War when the uh, USSR got their first um, picture of the surface of Venus. They beat the Americans to Venus. So that was a... Uh, that was pretty cool for the time. Right. So we're back in this days of the space race, that was. So that's cool. Okay, so Planet X, we've got that to level 5. Okay, Planet X is high for school, meaning it is theorised to exist. It's never been seen. Astronomers haven't ruled out its existence as of 2021, and surveys of the area where it might be found are ongoing. Yeah, come on, fingers crossed it exists. It would be cool. Right. 
cool. So we've done all that. Okay, can we do Callisto next? Heliosphere's got a boost. Callisto. Yes, we can. Let's do it. Cool. Okay, so here we are. Right, Orc Cloud itself. Ah, okay. So it's an even bigger set around the, that other one. Right. Okay. So we've got the full sort of solar system boundaries done. So there's the Heliosphere. There's another gold thing there. Let's grab that. Zoom all the way out. So you got Hills Cloud and you got the Orc Cloud itself. Right, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. So the Orc Cloud. Yeah. You can only see it from outside. If you get closer, it disappears. Really cool. So that's our entire solar system and all of its boundaries. So anything further out than the Oak Cloud is interstellar space. So there you go. So you can see. As soon as you zoom out, you can see the other stars in the background are actually moving. Because in theory, because we've zoomed out so far, the other planet, we're actually far, far out enough to actually see the other stars in the distance move. That's really cool. Nice. So you've got Hills Cloud, Oort Cloud. That's cool. So the Oort Cloud is a field of small icy celestial objects thought to exist at the far reaches of the solar system. It surrounds the bubble of the heliosphere and is the bridge between our solar system and interstellar space. There you go. Cool. That's cool. Does it move if you speed up time? Oh no, it doesn't move. Ah, oh, maybe it is. It's just going really slow. I mean, Planet uh, X and Sedna don't really move, do they? So... Maybe it just takes a very long time to move. We, only do, we can only go 11 years. I mean, that's a tiny amount of time for how far away all this sort of stuff is. Right, okay, what we're going to do... I want to upgrade that. I want to get the... Ah, there it is. Cool. It's a new discovery. So this will also give us cards. Okay. Little is known for certain objects about the outermost reaches of the solar system. Beyond the heliopause, the sun's gravity is no longer the dominant force. Instead, other stars host their own solar systems throughout the Milky Way. Nice. So, again, we'll get that going. So, automation. Nice. Now what we'll do is we'll just get everyone leveled up as far as we can go. Okay, right. So, that puts us in a nice position. So, Mako Maki, Mercury, Heliosphere, Venus, Enceladus, and the Kuiper Belt. They're the only ones we need to do now. So, cool. Very, very cool indeed. Right. So, I think what we need to do, like we do every episode, there's still some new cards to unlock for Planet, uh, Planet 9 here and Sedna. So hopefully we can get those with our uh, super giant star, which we do every video. So let's see what we get. And hopefully this will give us the new cards. Come on. Come on, give us something good. Okay, here we are. Cool. So that's Rigel. Nice. New cards. Yes, that's what we want. Okay, spherical shell. The asteroid belt. The Kuiper Belt and the elliptical that the planets follow around the sun are all shaped like a flat disc. The Oort Cloud, on the other hand, is a large spherical shape surrounding the whole solar system. That's cool. Nice. Okay, any, any other new cards? No. Ah, okay, so where did that card... So where does that card go? Ah, okay, cool. So increase Oort Cloud object payouts. What we'll do as well... Back to... Speaking of the Oort Cloud, constellations... Uh, we're doing the click power. Is it Gemini? No. Uh, which was the one that increased all cloud speed? Did we already do it? Comet speed, ice planet, terrestrial planet, gas planet, star, click power, asteroid. There was one for the orc cloud. Which one was that? Celestial body. I'm going mad. There was one that increased orc cloud speed. I'm sure there was. Gases planet, star speed, click power. Ah, there it is. Orc Cloud Object Speed. Oh, so we've already done it. Cool. We'll just keep doing this one then. Click power. Why not? This is probably one we should have done from the beginning, but oh well. <laughs> um, oh, we've done it. Cool. So that increases click power. Nice. So we only have one more to do. Just one more, which is Gemini, the astronomy mission. <laughs> nice. Is there any other... Okay, no, that's fine. Uh, right, okay. So... Here we go down here. 10,000 AU. The Oort Cloud is a huge region for trillions of objects between 2,000 and 200,000 AU. So what could be over here? And we're also at the end. Look, the, the line ends there. So that's cool. So look at all. Look how much progress we've made. Look at all that. That's cool. Right. Okay. What, what's next? Buy a rank. We need Mako Mako. Let's do that. Done. All right. Mercury. What's next? Can we do Mercury? We can do the sun. Let's get that up to level 10. Can upgrade some more guys here. Hey, old bop. Hills Cloud's got a boost. Let's go. Nice. Uh, I've got some more cards to do. So let's go ahead and uh, get all of that done. Perfect. Oh, we made. Look how much progress we've made now. I still want to get that uh, 
Sedna and Planet Nine card. I want to know what those are all about. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I want to. I want to get those. But yeah, look at all this. This is awesome. How far we've gone now. I mean, all the way into interstellar space practically. So, Orc Cloud. Yeah. Look how long. Does it, how long does Orc Cloud take? It takes thirty nine seconds. Hills Cloud takes one point nine seconds. Okay. That is with the boost on. So what's next? Can we do? Oh, Sedna. Okay. Cool. So yeah, we're making currency really, really fast now. So that's uh, that's really, really good. Luckily, we don't have to upgrade the high-level objects. I mean, Mercury, Heliosphere, they're all stuff from previous episodes. So in theory, we should be able to upgrade those fairly quickly. So we may be able to go through the entire section today. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe. So, interesting. Okay, cool. But yeah, I still want to try and get those cards. I want that Planet X and Sedna card. So what I'm going to do is... We're going to be sneaky. We're going to go for a second Super Giant. Because I want to get those cards. I really, really want to get those cards. I want to know what they are. I want to be the completionist. I want to get everything. Okay, Deneb. Cool. Come on, give us some new cards. No. Oh, come on. I want the new cards. Ah. Maybe you have to upgrade the planets themselves to actually get that. That's a bit annoying. But okay, we're back, back here. So, I mean, the last thing we have to do is Gemini. So, that's it. So, we'll just pay into that. I mean, we can keep upgrading these cards. But yeah, I want to get that Sydney and Planet, uh, Planet 9 card. So... That's cool, but at least we can upgrade all this because this all helps us in the long run as well. So that is cool. Okay, nice. Looking good. Right, so there's yeah that that's all that all done. So cool. I mean, what else is there to do now? I mean, what we can do is just increase speed, I guess, for four hours. Do that. So that obviously boosts everything a lot faster. Okay, what's that? Planet Planet X. Okay, we'll get you up. But yeah, there we are, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the game there for now. And then I'll hop back probably in like an hour's time. I'll probably film another video on, on Universe Sandbox in the meantime and just get that out of the way while this game builds up. And then we'll return to this and hopefully we can uh, almost get to the end of these missions. I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take, but yeah, we never know. So we'll have to come back and see in an hour or so. So yeah, I'll see you guys roughly in about an hour's time. Um, and then we'll have to uh, see where we are at that point. So yeah, guys, I will catch you in a bit. Okay, everyone, so it's been 42 minutes now, so we're going to see sort of how much stuff we can uh, upgrade. We'll go with the double up as well, so now let's see what we can do with all of the currency we've earned. So let's actually try and focus on the missions as well. So we need to upgrade Mercury, so can we afford that? Yes, we can. So Mercury is now level 10, so we'll go ahead and uh, claim our reward for that. So we'll grab all of those bits. Okay, cool. Right, what have we got to do next? Next up, we've got Heliosphere, Venus... We could do, we'll do Venus while we're here. Uh, can we do the Heliosphere? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. So that's that dump. So we'll fly all the way through that. That's good. Okay, nice. So we've also done this mission. So we've only got two missions left, actually. So that's all right. So let's go ahead and uh, grab that. Okay, that's good. Right, so we, now we've got Enceladus, Kuiper Belt, and then we just have to collect Stardust. So we know we're not. We're about halfway on that. So... Yeah, I think we'll have to finish our episode off there for today, actually. It looks like, um, yeah, it looks like that's as far as we can really go. I mean, we can do Hills Cloud, actually. Why not get another, get some more cards for that unlocked, actually. So, can we, uh, yeah, we can get that. Okay, that's good. Right, cool. Okay, so we're going to leave things off there. So, that is, put us in a nice position. So, I'm hoping in between episodes I can upgrade Sedna and Planet X. And then we should hopefully be able to get these two cards that's that's what i'm hoping so we'll have to uh wait and see there so we've also got reach hills cloud rank three so most comets are thought to originate from the Oort cloud astronomers realize that stars from other systems occasionally pass through the edges of the cloud their gravitational pull may launch objects towards the inner solar system towards the sun okay cool and uh, also one more thing to point out if you look at the achievements here so you've got sun mercury venus earth so there's there's two objects per row so if we go all the way down here you've got cloud busting so that's obviously for hills cloud so i'm guessing the slot underneath planet x here that will be the Oort cloud so what are these two now i think i know what they are i'm not going to spoil it for anyone who doesn't know but i think i know what these are or what this is so that in theory means that the next level must be the last level 
I, I would assume. I mean, that that's all that's left is what at the end here. So I'm assuming we're going to be on the last level next episode. So yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. And yeah, we'll we'll finish off it. We can upgrade Orc Cloud again. Why not? So uh, get you up one more time. Nice. Level that up. And there we are, guys. So we will finish off there for today's video. So I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to the 23,000 subscribers as we are so close to reaching it. And with that all said and done, guys, make sure you will have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video where we'll probably be on the last level as well. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.